hey, Superior Shea fans, another humans, how are you doing today? What is this one? Uh, 25 of uh, April 2024. How many days has it been since I shaved? It's been six miserable days. Let's get this thing off of there. I'm going to use uh, this little sample of Le Barbier. This is the uh, cold process soap from France that has uh, menthe poivre, uh, lavender, and um, I believe that's peppermint. I just picked a random razor from my roll. I don't have any idea of its edge or, well, I see it says C135 the current. So this is the run of the mill Evide Sonant Extra Thiers Assard 6 8 with the non-luxury <laughs> tortoise shell scales. They have a luxury one and they have a non-luxury one. So I, I finally got my Thiers Assard shipment and I loaded up all the pictures of the wonderful, beautiful items that they have for you to buy on the superiorshave.com. And I just wanted to show you something, as you know from watching this stupid channel, my house burned down last June 25th and I've been living with uh, Ikea knives, or some knives that somebody in kindness gave us, oh, 10 months ago now. It's ridiculous that this takes this long, and it's a long story why it takes that long, but State Farm has no intention of giving you your money without a fight. That's for damn sure. But anyway, so finally I just decided um, I want a quality of life improvement, so I bought a few hundred bucks, they're not cheap, of Thiers Assard Sabatier knives for the house. Look how beautiful these things are. This is the bread knife. Oh, no, this is like the knife, the, the long skinny knife that you would use to like slice uh, a roast or something like that. Uh, look at this beautiful handle. Uh, white micarta and blue stamina on the outside. The balance of the knife is spectacular. Uh, I did have some very nice knives in the house that all died. They were in a drawer that got hopelessly smoked out. There was no way they were being saved. Some of them were Murray Carter ones that were multiple hundred dollars each. I don't know if these are quite that good, but they're really nice. Look at this little paring knife. Isn't he gorgeous? And the bread knife. Oh, isn't that something? Woohoo! And I like to have one really big knife for uh, making the chopped Italian salad sandwich where you take all the parts of an Italian salad and chop them up into tiny little fragments and sp Sprinkle everything on there. So you need a really long knife for that. And this one is a 10 incher. I Don't know what the retail price of this thing is. It's more than a hundred bucks. Anyway, I didn't figure any of you would want that thing But they did have one more economical knife with a plain handle the the top of the line this part uh, Just a run-of-the-mill standard chef's knife. I bought three of this one, so I'm going to keep one, and I have, I'll put two of them on the website or maybe give them away or something. I'm only interested in being in the razor knife sphere, right? Alrighty, well, I'm going to use this brilliant Zarkoful uh, facial soap that you need in your life. Need. Can't shave for free. Gotta shave for content. He's, you know how much these ads are worth on this thing? If I sit here and spend an hour and a half editing that video down, I'll make like three dollars on that thing over the course of the year and uh, well if you do that a hundred times in the year which I won't obviously but if you do it 60 times yeah so three to five bucks each is about what you get I'll take it I need it need it to pay all the lawyers alrighty then a little bit of the Osma pre-shave Sorry, uh, I don't have any in stock, and I haven't ordered from Osmo yet because they don't tell me when stuff is coming, and I, I'm going to France in a couple of weeks for five days to make videos at the Thiers of Hard Factory. So I, if I order it now, it would probably end up showing up right when I'm there, and I'll just I'll wait until like another week or so to order it that way. It wouldn't show up till the back half of May. It's good stuff. It sells well. But being European products, they have short expiry dates on them always. So I like to keep the stock nice and fresh. Alrighty, we're going to put some of this on, then we'll strop, and then we'll have to mess with the lather again because it is cold saponified. So lather don't hang around very long. That's part of the fun. I did make some cursory calls with malpractice specialist attorneys regarding 
the fact that my previous attorney was far too patient and placating of the State Farm Insurance Adjuster, Stephen Evans, who has no intention whatsoever of ever approving a contractor's estimate that's not his shoddy little contractor. No matter what you do, no matter what he says, go change this, you change that, and if you change it and bring it back to him, he'll be like, oh yeah, I forgot about this fucking thing, go get that shit. And he'll just play that shell game with you the whole time. So the current attorney says. And um, this is exactly the instinct that I had during the process and told the previous attorney, why are you placating this guy? He's full of shit. And she kept saying, well, you know, he controls the money, so you need to play nice with him. But as it turns out, if you do the right lawyer moves, he doesn't control the money because he's made superfluous and they kick him off the, uh, the decision desk. It goes to somebody with a higher rank than him. So... Uh, the people who work only on commission and sue other attorneys, uh, they told me from the story, yes, you definitely have a case, meaning they're going to take it because they don't take commission, only shit they're going to lose, right? And uh, I have to wait until the, <laughs> the final payment from State Farm before I can go sue my previous attorney, but without hiring one, one attorney, a partner of a firm that did talk to me on the phone said, hey, just so you know, your previous attorney has to carry malpractice insurance, and if a client asks for it by email, they are legally bound to give you an answer within 30 days of what is their contact for all this stuff. So, based on that advice, I um, emailed the private pr prior attorney and said, Hey, you know, you did a bad job. What's the information for the uh, malpractice? Who, who, who do you buy your malpractice insurance from and what's their contact information? And she sent me a long email that was defending all the good work she did. Uh, and it just goes to show she might know the law and be a great negotiator of the law, but she's not like a good negotiator in general in life. Because if she was a great negotiator... She would have known by, by, by responding to, to my email with a long email of her own and not giving that information that the other attorney said she would hold back. That just proves that she doesn't really have any confidence in anything that she said. You know what it comes down to? Lawyers just won't ever say, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Like, if they're your friend, they're just never going to say that shit. They're always going to say some other shit. When I'm wrong in life, like thinking that I knew everything about how to hone a razor and that its bevel was supposed to be flat and flush from the factory, when I find out that I was wrong, I say, well, I was wrong. And uh, I honed and sold thousands of razors here at the Superior Shave, making all of them flat flush bubbles, just like those little trolls on the shaving forums say that you're supposed to do. Everybody's wrong sometime, including an attorney, and uh, they're just not grown up enough to say, sorry, I was wrong. Oh, that felt great. This has the typical cold process soap, wetness, slippery, no cushion. You don't need cushion, don't worry about cushion. You don't need stability, don't worry about stability. It's fun to screw around the ladder. That's a part of the fun, it's a feature. It's like when your cat constantly, my, one of my two cats, the, the fatter of the two of them, he walks around the house crying all the time like he doesn't fed like every six minutes. That's not a flaw in the cat, that's a feature of the cat. It's not a feature you asked for, but it's a feature you're going to get. Oh, that, that is so good. If I convex tone this one, I sure did a good job uh, hiding my work. I don't even see any of my little marks.
not getting a good stretch there. It is the cold saponified. It's slippery as hell. Um, I kind of need like a, the alum chunk over there and grab my hands to that alum chunk or the little piece of cotton that I used to put in my hands many years ago. It's okay. I'll, I'm going to do some more passes there. Well, this is the factory edge. It's awful damn good. I'm going to have to go back through and look at my videos because I don't really hone off camera. Not if it's a razor I'm selling. So if I honed it, it's a better than average chance there's a video of it. And if I didn't delete that, maybe I could find it and see what it says. I might have bought this from... I know I bought some Sears of Sard from a hardware store when they had a, a price that was lower than what I pay for them. Man, that beard is a forest over there. thick. Don't kid yourself though. And no cold processed soap is going to get that thick. Except for the Zarkopol, the, the Zegan, I'm uh, sorry, Men's Secret. Because that's completely, uh, not completely, but first ingredient is saponified shea butter. Um, so it has a butteriness to it, obviously. I remember this one has saponified shea, but I think it has uh, castor oil or something as as the first. Oh no, it's it's potassium shea butter. It is the is the primary ingredient. So, um, all right. Well, what was it? Potassium shea butter. It potassium cocoa. It sodium shea butter. It sodium cocoa. It okay. And then pot potassium castor. It is in there. All righty. So what would I say compared to the Zarkoful? It's not as buttery, but it is more slippery. Uh, yeah, I need all I'm, I'm not I'm not getting a good grab 17 minutes moving along here Jared almost done guys Almost done with this boring ass shit too much water in your brush. Let's get under the chin a little bit better That feels like it must be sufficient over there. Down here is good, down here is good. So, just that dreaded goatee zone. This, this has to be something I honed. This can't be the factory edge. I don't believe it.
lovely. You are just fantastic, aren't you? Okay, let's get cleaned up. We're going to start with the alcohol on the blade. That'll buy me some time. Then I clean up my face here. I would concede that if I am to have a lackluster ability to stretch the face, it happens more on that side than on that side. Although it is a constant battle to get a good stretch. Where's that almstone? There he is. There he is. Here we go, little kitty bird. Come on, birdie cat. Alrighty then, here we go. Wow. Wow. Stingless. A plus on that. The immediate after effects closeness evaluation that I just did silently with my hands scores a an A on a lot of areas. And no C's. It's all A's and B's. You know, I would say more B's than A's around the mouth, but hey, tough battle. Still feels real good to get the six days off. Okay, we're gonna go with this uh, fine green vetiver uh, aftershave for the early summer here in Florida. We're already up into the well past 85 degrees during the middle of the day time. Mm -hmm. Good living. Not exactly Roja Vetiver, but certainly with some charm, isn't it? I wish that fine guy still had those rock hard soaps that he got from whoever makes tobacco, I think. Those were some good soaps. One of the many things to die in my little fire. Well, that was fun, guys. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you five, six days. Gotta shave on camera, right? Thanks. Bye bye.